Dawn reveals an apparent outbreak of lawlessness in Hastings. After a very dry Hawke's Bay summer, now into autumn, rivers face an existential threat, prompting the Hastings District Council to impose a sprinkler ban. Residents can still water their gardens and lawns by hand on alternate days, but the rash of green lawns is evidence some either don't care or are ignorant about Council's ambition to save less than 5,000 litres per property. It's not a huge impost if we think about that in real terms. It's about running a hose for about 30 minutes. So what do you think about people who flout the sprinkler van? I think that it's not very community minded and uh, I would like to see everyone doing their bit to make sure that we have enough water to go round. We're all going to do our bit whilst this uh, problem's in front of us. And I do see neighbours who not only have their sprinklers going, but the water's just running down the road and uh, that annoys me immensely. I see water running every morning when I go for a walk and I feel a little bit annoyed because the council they did said, please don't use the irrigation or live overnight. So therefore, I think, I don't know if they should be a heavily fund. No, no, we've never prosecuted anybody or got to the level of a prosecution. There are a number of steps that have to happen um, before we would ever get to a prosecution. And what we find is that most people, even those that are recidivist offenders, um, eventually, um, let's say, comply with the bylaws. We can actually put a restrictor onto somebody's connection, which means that the, the, the instantaneous flow is severely restricted. We can't create um, a public health hazard in doing that. Um, but there are a range of steps before we would um, look to be putting restrictors in place. Council estimates 10% of residents are not following the rules. By the end of February, more than 60 warning notices were issued, many thanks to people dobbing in their neighbours. But things aren't always as they seem. Some people really do water their lawn by hand. This lawn is plastic, and this lawn is thanks to private water storage. Patrick, my lawn's green because I have 14,000 litres of water in my backyard. I recycle water. I have a, a greenhouse, so it has solar panels, solar hot water, and, and we recycle rainwater. Businesses are not exempt. The council is targeting all unnecessary use of water, but it says some lawns are essential. We're still irrigating our essential parks. That's around maintaining our parks for sports activities. So in the summertime, you've got cricket and softball. One of the reasons that we do that is um, to minimise injuries. So it is actually a statistical fact that sports injuries increase. Take water irrigation away from, uh, from sports parks. The pending winter codes starting to train um, and you know, Super Rugby's already in, in flight. So we're, we're trying to balance the sporting needs, but still ensuring that council's doing its part to minimise the frequency of watering, particularly around our sports parks. Hawke's Bay's main water reservoir is the underground aquifer, and Napier and Hastings councils account for about a third of the volume of water extracted from the Hitatonga Plains. The balance is extracted by entities with their own bores, such as businesses, schools, farms and clubs. But they too are expected to share the burden and not waste water. We have a number of farmers across the region who are currently on full restriction and so they cannot take water either from groundwater or from surface water. Depending on where our private bore is, uh, it faces some level of restriction. And in the Tuki Tuki catchment, uh, there are some private bores which are now on reduced take in terms of what they're allowed to take. But then we also have water takes which are from deep groundwater that don't have a short-term effect on those surface flows where people are currently able to continue to use their full allocation. The total rainfall that we've had in January and February for both the Ruahini 
and Kawika ranges is extraordinarily low. In the case of the Ruahinis, 10% uh, of normal rainfall for January and February. Uh, and for the Kawika ranges, uh, in the order of 13% of normal. So that's an extraordinary low level of water coming into our uh, rivers and aquifer systems. And so it's really important that everybody in Hawke's Bay does their bit. Napier City Council residents are on a lower level of restriction, allowed to use sprinklers every second day. But unless the heavens open soon, it too will face a sprinkler ban, or even a total watering ban. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.